Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for all your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video, it's Thursday the 25th of May 2023. We have hero skin recruitment today. So, something that hadn't been previously announced by the devs. If you look in your Rise of Empire Studio mail, you'll see S1 hero skins available now. Dear Lord, in order to boost your province strength, the administrator decided to open the skin pool of Charles the Great and Al Fati. Lords may recruit them with super recruitment tickets. Don't miss out. So please update the game to version 2.02 .02 or later versions to access the content. So if we go back out into the main castle screen, you'll see here you've got this icon for biography skin if we click on it it will take you to a separate recruitment page you'll notice there's a couple of things about this first off the banners are a different design <clears throat> got these diamond black diamonds at the bottom different color scheme and we've also got this icon down below that says hero so <clears throat> first off these initial banners are the ones that you're going to use to be able to recruit your hero skin on these, you can either get the skin or you're going to pick up um, an an, or an orange hero. So basically, you're you are guaranteed to get a skin as long as you use enough um, tickets. But we'll talk about that in a second. And there's El Fatih's the same, just to show you. So if you try on that banner, you're going to get his skin. Now, if you need the hero, it's himself. Obviously, it's no good having a hero with a hero skin if you don't really have him maxed. You can just click on this icon and it will swap between the skins and the normal hero recruitment banners. And these hero recruitment banners appear to be the enhanced chance ones where you've got a 50% chance to pick up that, that hero. But as you can see down below, you can still get an S to S4 hero instead. So it's not guaranteed that you're going to pick up uh, copies of these heroes but i presume that when they release these kind of events with the skin banners you'll always be able to recruit the hero because that, that kind of is logical so back to the skin banners you'll see on the right hand side i've included the percentage chance uh, that is available in the information screen here but it's all the way at the bottom and i wasn't going to scroll through all of it to get there for you so the thing to highlight is as you can see it's a 0 0.0907 percent chance which is roughly you should in theory need a maximum of 110 tickets uh, to get 100% chance. Of course, in reality, it's not. it doesn't always work like that. I've seen players sharing today that they got a skin after 10 tickets, people got one after 50 tickets, 100 tickets. I saw um, actually that a player got two skins in the same pack of 10, so you can get double pulls as well. Um, now, in this pool, we've got um El Fatih's Iron Fist Monarch skin and then Charles the Great's Ruler of an Age skin. And if you click on the black diamond here, it will show you every time you recruit a hero, you will receive some blessing points. When the total progress of blessing points reaches a certain level, you will receive the blessing effect. High quality blessing effects will greatly increase the chances of getting hero skins. Upon receiving a hero skin, the blessing points will be emptied so like your luck meter basically now i am actually in wargasm's account um because she's got loads of tickets spare to faff around with trying recruiting for one of these guys um she did actually you uh, recruit the iron fist monarch skin earlier so we're going to try for the ruler of age um skin and see how many tickets it takes again this is not going this is not going to be a guaranteed amount each time i might get it straight away it might take a hundred tickets um it just depends so let's have a go so as you can see we've picked up the normal orange hero and war gasm had already hit nine chests so that's good as well now i'm just wanting to see this blessing meter it has increased but there doesn't seem to be like a percentage shown um which is a bit strange. We just picked up Anne. So that's 40 tickets. 50. 
Luckily, Wargasm's got plenty of tickets, so we can uh, use however many we need. So that's 60. This is 70. Eighty double pull for her at least. Ninety heaven's justice. Wow, a hundred tickets still haven't got it, and the bar is kind of the same basically, even though that's changed color. Weird. Okay, so hopefully we're going to get it this time. In theory, we should have. No, one hundred and ten tickets already. There we go. This must be it. Oh no, Northrage new hero. <laughs> oh dear, why did you get rid of Northrage? Double orange, triple orange. No way. Quadruple orange pool. <laughs> That's nice at least, but still no skin. Wow. What are we up to? 150 tickets? Is this it? This is it. There we go. Wow. And you'll see it looks like that. So this is how you recruit. Uh, that was quite a lot of tickets, I have to say. Um, now, in terms of when they can be used, obviously they're SO heroes, S1 heroes. You can use them from Season 2. Um, let's have a quick look at Charles the Great in terms of what he's going to do for you. Very quick look. Um, attributes, 12 might, 9 tactical might, 8 HP, 1.5% damage. That's not bad, particularly at S2. Um, so that's some good boost to the stats. What's his inheriting skill? It's Legend of Europe changed to Eternal Glory. So first four rounds, increase the damage dealt by two random enemy squads of your side by 20%. Stackable up to four times by the battle's end. The change is that it will now impact on all three of the squads. So that's guaranteeing a lot of extra damage, effectively 80% uh, with this stackable. Um, and it's a pre-battle skill, prep skill. So that's a pretty good improvement to be honest with you and then the preserving skill the minus five percent skill damage and two and a half percent might two and a half percent resistance for the legion not so bad um and he's got this triple bow and arrow and very sparkly gold outfit um looking at how you can access the skins once you've recruited uh, recruited them so if you go to items and you go to other you'll see they're here and you can just then click use. So both of them are to be used after season two. I've unlocked Iron Fist now. Now El Fati, he's actually a very useful hero. He's you know it's pretty he's pretty good. Um, I have to say. You look at the combos like you've yeah he you can use him with Ramses for instance. Um, let's go into the hero skin. And let's just unlock this for Wargasm. There we go. So we've got the hero skin unlocked and in terms of the inheriting skill for Al Fati, this is I think very decent. So you're changing Conqueror to Unrivaled Power. Conqueror is an 80% chance to magnify the damage dealt in normal attacks made by El Fati by 60% for one round. It actually increases it to a 100% chance. Now it is a combat skill, so it can be affected by um, obviously silencing or suppression or confusion. But 100% chance it's going to activate. It's guaranteeing you 60% extra damage from normal attacks. That is a big buff guaranteed buff or almost guaranteed buff and when the hero squad is subject to silence disarm suppression confused status where this wouldn't activate you'll still benefit from this skill because it will mean that you take 20% uh, less damage as damage mitigation so that's a really useful skill that is actually basically going to be working all the time um, and the preserving skill is again the hero squad takes minus 5% skill damage which is good because he's like a serial attack um physical damage 
hero so and skilled damage is often going to be or statuses are going to be like countering this kind of combination and the hero's legion gains two percent physical damage that's again really good buff from the preserving skill i think much better than these kind of tiny incremental increases in the might and resistance just quick look at his bowie attributes extra six percent hp but you're getting nine percent extra tactical might and two percent troop damage which again is you know a decent buff earlier in the game considering this is available at s2 and he's got a very cool kind of armor and big sword with this look so those are the new hero skins now a few questions obviously unanswered right now this is just started with two heroes from out of the nine from s1 uh, so we know that some other s1 heroes have skins already released like cow cow for instance uh, black prince but uh, in fact i think black prince you can try and get right now yeah he's available currently um but they've only released two for these two heroes so what will happen in the future will you be able to get multiple sk more skins from just s is that how they're going to stagger the release or are they going to look at s2 and s3 and s4 in the coming weeks and months um will it go up even into sx hero skins how likely is it that we're going to see this um you know for those of us later stages of the game are you really going to be interested in getting these s hero skins probably not if you're earlier in the game certainly if you're a spender this is um you know you're you're only having to use 150 super recruitment tickets <clears throat> so i guess it's a kind of better method you're guaranteed to get it you're not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars um in to get a chance on those lower chanced um packs i don't know and the other thing is at least this is more accessible to everyone you're using a super recruitment ticket which is available to everyone so everyone has the opportunity to try um, but i just would be cautious in saying that obviously if you're a free to play player would you want to use all your super recruitment tickets that you've saved up just for a hero skin when obviously you're going to be more focused on actually saving those for the key kind of heroes as you progress through the game you know like in s in s2 would you use your tickets for this when you should be trying for beast queen and immortal for instance or would you potentially use your tickets in s3 when you should be going for rosen um, on bleeding steed i wouldn't say you would so i'm not sure how this will how much this will change uh the kind of recruitment habits of players potentially if you're like a small medium spender and you've got vip unlocked and you get lucky and um you get all the heroes that you need in season rewards and stuff maybe then you might go for one of these banners because you've got hero uh, super recruitment tickets spare to use uh that could be a possibility i guess um yeah that's my kind of thinking but at least it is even though there is, it's all based around chance you have a guarantee of getting one at the end and obviously hopefully it's kind of shown you that with that lower percentage chance because that 0.9 percent is lower than the normal percentage chance for recruiting a seasonal hero you could be looking at you know as i've shown today probably anything between 100 and 150 tickets being the norm for this but like i've said some people are getting them even after 10 tickets it's just luck of the draw so there we go guys i'd be interested to hear your comments what do you think how big an impact will this have on the game um have you had any luck getting uh the skins today did any of you get a double pull um that would be good to know and um yeah if you are like a free to play player do you think you would spend your tickets on these or would you keep them for the key kind of key heroes as i've indicated if you have liked this video, please do click on that like. And if you could share this video on my channel, in your Alliance chat, province chat, or through Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be very much appreciated. Don't forget, tomorrow on Friday the 26th at plus 12, I'll be streaming live our round two um, Battle of Honor All-Stars match. So check that out. Um, that video link is already um, up and live on the channel content if you want to go and check it out to find out the link i'll be streaming between plus 11 and plus uh, 14 tomorrow so yeah definitely come and check it out guys that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon